Okay, and welcome to The Last Drop. I am Chris. Thank you for joining me today. This is Cognac 101. So, Cognac is a type of brandy. Uh, brandy is a distilled wine, basically. Um, whether it's grapes, you can get fruit brandies, other things like that. Uh, it is named after the region in which it is distilled at, which is the Cognac region of France. Uh, it has certain requirements uh, that it's needed to be able to be called Cognac. Uh, first of all, it's got to be distilled in copper stills, uh, pot stills even. Uh, and it's got to be then barrel aged for a minimum of two years uh, in French oak barrels. Uh, these French oak barrels should really come from the Limousin or the Troncai regions of France. So it starts with grapes. Uh, the main types of grapes that they use are Agni Blanc, uh, Ole Blanchet, and Colombard. They're the main three that they use. Um, these are then pressed and fermented from anywhere between two to three weeks. Uh, maybe longer, depends on the distillery. Uh, and this gives you a wine. Um, whether that wine is any good and whether you can drink it is another question. Most people say that you shouldn't. So, the wine is then distilled. Uh, traditionally, this is done in alembic pot stills, as per this picture. Um, for it to then be called cognac, it has to go through these stills or another still twice. Um, once that's happened, they can then go and put it in the barrels. So, aging. The twice distilled distillate spirit uh, is then placed into oak barrels at around about 70% ABV uh, for a minimum of two years. And this is the legal requirement for it to be called cognac. Uh, the barrels usually come from the Limousin region of France. Excuse my French. Uh, and during the aging, both water and alcohol evaporate. This is called the Angel's Share. Sometimes, once a certain flavour profile has been achieved in the barrels, the barrels will be emptied into bonbonnets or large glass containers where aging can stop. Uh, they then can be stored in them uh, so they can be used in the blending process later on down the line. So, blending. Pretty much every cognac is blended. Uh, this means that the cognac comes from, or the Eau de Vie, comes from many different vineyards within the regions. Cognac houses will then blend them together uh, and produce a certain flavour profile that they have been working on for many, many centuries. Well, not many centuries, but a few centuries. Uh, before they present it to you. <laughs> uh, there, you can get some single estate, single vineyard um, cognacs. Uh, and these are very, very good. Um, the age of a cognac uh, has to be stated as the youngest component that has gone in to that blend. Which leads us to... Okay, so there are different grades of cognac. Um, these are the age statements, um, if you compare it to whiskey. Uh, they start off with VS, so if you see VS or three stars on the bottle, uh, it's going to be very special, uh, as per this, and it's going to be a minimum of two years uh, in the barrels. Next up is BSOP. Uh, this means very superior old pale. Uh, you can also get it 
at stating reserve. This means it's been in the barrel for a minimum of four years. Next up is Napoleon. Uh, this is usually meaning it's a minimum age of six years in the barrel. Next up is EXO, which means extra old. Uh, as of 2018, uh, April 2018 I believe, um, the French government passed a law where cognac had to be barreled for at least 10 years to be called an EXO. Uh, next up, or last but not least, is Haut de Age, uh, which means beyond age. Uh, it usually coincides with EXO, where it is uh, a minimum of 10 years old, but basically it's a blend of probably some very old cognacs uh, to give you the highest quality. It's normally a statement of it's out there as being the best cognac you can get. So here is a map of the Cognac region. Uh, as you can see, it is split up into different areas. Uh, first up is the Grand Champagne region. Don't get confused with Champagne region of France, which is producing the bubbles. Um, this is slightly different. Um, so Grand Champagne and Petit Champagne. Um, in fact, this can also affect bottling. Um, so if you have 50% minimum 50% Grand Champagne and add in the rest Petit Champagne, uh, you can then write fine champagne on the bottle. Uh, next up is the Borderies region. Uh, this is the smallest crew or state or county, I guess you'd call it, uh, if you were here in the UK. <laughs> Along those lines, you know. Uh, next up is the Finbois region, which is one of the largest and sort of surrounds pretty much most of it. Uh, this is sort of heavier aged, faster aging cognacs, uh, usually the base for most blends, uh, for, for most of the cognacs for the big houses. Uh, you then have Bonbois and Bois Ordinaires, uh, which again, porous soil, doesn't produce the greatest stuff. Uh, but you might still find it uh, going into your cognac. So, what brands are there? There's four big ones. They are Hennessy, Courvoisier, Martel, and Remy Martin. Um, I tried uh, cognac from pretty much most of these now. They're all very, very good. Uh, they all have a great history behind them. Uh, go to their websites, have a look at them. They have great history and so forth. Um, but there's quite a few producers uh, of lesser known, uh, sort of a tier two down, um, which I'll try and bring them all up on screen here now. Uh, each of them have their own flavor profiles and so forth, unique characters and things like that. But we've got Frappin, Camus, Pine, Delamain, P.F. Ferrand, uh, Bachet, Gabrielson, Murkov, ABK6, as I used to call them, but they're Abacassis, fantastic. Uh, really do go and check them out. Really up and coming, I think, and lovely story again and everything. A uh, single estate stuff as well, so it's quite unique. Uh, Maxime Chujol and Auger, to name but a few. Hopefully they're all around, buzzing around me, or at least statically here. Um, but yeah, they're the brands. Go and check them out. Cognac. It's something you should be drinking uh, if you're into your spirits and want to explore uh, different spirits of the world. Definitely something you should consider on your journey. Um, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope that wasn't too painful uh, and you learned a bit of information. Uh, please, if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up and all that jazz. And like I do in most videos, <laughs> that's the last drop. <laughs>